chapter 2. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, The children of Israel shall pitch by their fathers' houses, every man with his own standard, according to the ensigns. A good way off shall they pitch round about the tent of meeting. Now those that pitch on the east side toward the sun rising shall be they of the standard of the camp of Judah, according to their host, the prince of the children of Judah being Nachshon, the son of Aminadab, and his host, and those that were numbered of them, three score and fourteen thousand and six hundred. And those that pitch next unto him shall be the tribe of Issachar, the prince of the children of Issachar, being Nethanel, the son of Zuar, and his host, even those that were numbered thereof, fifty and four thousand and four hundred. And the tribe of Zebulun, the prince of the children of Zebulun, being Eliab, the son of Helon, and his host, and those that were numbered thereof, fifty and seven thousand and four hundred. And all that were numbered of the camp of Judah, being a hundred thousand, fourscore thousand, six thousand, four hundred. According to their host, they shall set forth first. On the south side shall be the standard of the camp of Reuben. According to their host, the prince of the children of Reuben, being Eliezer, the son of Shedeur. And his host, and those that were numbered thereof, forty and six thousand, five hundred. And those that pitch next unto him shall be the tribe of Simeon, the prince of the children of Simeon, being Shilumiel, the son of Zuri Shaddai, and his host, and those that were numbered of them, fifty and nine thousand three hundred. And the tribe of God, the prince of the children of God, being Eliasaph, the son of the son of Reuel, and his host, even those that were numbered of them, forty and five thousand and six hundred and fifty. All that were numbered of the camp of Reuben, being a hundred thousand and fifty, and one thousand and four hundred and fifty, according to their host, and they shall set forth second. Then the tent of meeting, with the camp of the Levites, shall set forward in the midst of the camps, as they encamp shall they set forward, every man in his place by their standards. On the west side shall be the standard of the camp of Ephraim, according to their host, the prince of the children of Ephraim, being Elishma the son of Amihud, and the host, and those that were numbered of them, forty thousand and five hundred. And next unto him shall be the tribe of Manasseh, the prince of the children of Manasseh, and being Gamaliel, the son of Pedoxer, and his host, and those that were numbered of them, thirty and two thousand and two hundred. And the tribe of Benjamin, the prince of the children of Benjamin, being Abidon, the son of Gideoni, and his host, and those that were numbered of them, thirty and five thousand and four hundred. And all that were numbered of the camp of Ephraim, being a hundred thousand, eight thousand, and a hundred, according to the, and they shall set forth third. And on the north side shall be the standard of the camp of Don, according to their host, the prince of the children of Don, being Achietzer, the son of Amishadai, and his host, and those that were numbered of them, threescore and two thousand and seven hundred. And those that pitch next unto him shall be the tribe of Asher, the prince of the children of Asher, being Pagiel, the son of Okran, and his host, and those that were numbered of them, forty and one thousand and five hundred, and the tribe of Naphtali, the prince of the children of Naphtali, being Akira, the son of Enon, and his host, and those that were numbered of them, fifty and three thousand and four hundred. And all that were numbered of the camp of Don, being a hundred thousand, fifty and seven thousand and six hundred, they shall set forth hindermost by their standards. These are they that were numbered of the children of Israel by the fathers' houses, all that were numbered of the camps according to their hosts were six hundred thousand, three thousand, five hundred and fifty. But the levy were not numbered among the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. Thus did the children of Israel, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so they pitched by their standards, and so they set forward, each one according to its families and according to its father's houses. All right, let's go back up to verse 1. And we are once again just continuing. We are in the book of Numbers. As we see, we are getting the numbers of the tribe, and we're going to count them by the numbers. Numbers have a strong representation in life. Uh, the numbers is a language of precision. 
when we speak a number, everything has to add up. Of course, everything does add up in the end. And we get the sum of the matter, in other words. And the sum of the matter is the total of everything, and it's what it all adds up to. We see, my friend, if we, and it all adds up to one thing. The Lord give everybody the law. And when we don't keep it, there's simply going to be a price to pay for it, my friends. And that is the judgment of the Lord. It's an automatic thing. There ain't nobody going to get out of it. We're all equal in this world. We're all born. We all die. And every moment in between, we are equal as well. The only thing that puts the difference here is the thoughts of men. But we're going to pick it up here in verse 1. We're going to continue uh, with these the organizations. As we find out, the Lord has given the commandments to Moses, the one who was drawn out, this one who was rescued by Hashem. And unto our own, our own is the light giver, the one that brings forth the light, and the light's coming off of a fire. The fire is the anointing that's burning. Well, see the uh, the the orders the of how they shall pitch round about the tent of meeting, and this is the how their movement will be. We're going to pick it up in verse one. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and to Aaron, saying, "Once again, Hashem speak uh, to Moses." And Aaron, two, the children of Israel shall pitch by their fathers' houses, every man with his own standard. According to the ensigns, a good way off shall they pitch round about the tent of meeting. These children of Israel shall pitch their tents, and that to pitch their tents is just that. Or pinch, pitch by their fathers' houses the, is to pitch their tents. Set up. And, this, and, and, and set up is to, in, the, in a way, to proceed in this way. Uh, all those that come forth from Israel, those that contend with the Mighty One, those we find that even face everyday uh, adversity. Every man with his own standard. So every man comes in his own standard under that own uh, mark or this own, his own flag. A flag is the colors uh, or the appearances. And everybody is. There's only so many kinds of people, my friend. And we'll find everybody's in their own experience according to the ensigns. Uh, according to their standards, according to their flags, it's a, and they shall pitch a good way off, uh, round about. And they will keep their distance. We find out uh, from the tent of meeting. That's the place where we gather. It's a place that represents the a single understanding that we can all agree on. At least a covenant we have made with Hashem, His the, uh, the Almighty Three. Now those that pitch. On the east side, toward the sun rising, shall be they of the standard of the camp of Judah, according to their host, the prince of the children of Judah, being Nachshon, the son of Aminadab. So this is in the, the order they're going to pitch in as we start to read. This one's go, these are going to be on the east side. East is always that way of the sun rising. It's toward the sun rising. Uh, this is toward that standard of the camp, and, and this is where the Judah, and those under that flag of Judah, uh, Judah's those appraisings are going to set up, and uh, that east is toward the way of enlightenment, toward the way of understandings. According to their host, according to the numbers of them, the, the prince of the children of this ruler, this one who's going to reside over the children of those of Judah, those appraisings, being Nachshon, he is the son of Amidadab. Nachshon is the enchanter. Uh, an enchanter is somewhat like a spell caster, the one who has pleasant words to uh, maybe sing you a lullaby. He's the one that comes forth from Aminadab, but that's the nations that were willing, or these nations of volunteers. Four, and his host, and those that were numbered of them were three score and 14,600. This is going to be the number of them, three score. Three score, of course, is three twenties. A score is twenty, and twenty is to witness the law or have redemption. Three uh, times would be to complete it, to make it strong. But most likely it was written with six tens because man's work in the law and uh, fourteen, of course, is ten and four is the law and the work of God separating uh, in the fulfillments. A thousand is to fulfill all these things. Six hundred, we'll find out. The work of man is going to be judgment. Five, and those that pitch next unto him shall be the tribe of Issachar. The prince of the children of Issachar being Nathanael, he's the son of Zuar. And those that are going to pitch next to him or those that are going to join him in this under that flag is going to be the tribe of Issachar. 
Issachar uh, is the one who brings the reward, and uh, he, the prince of the children of Issachar, those that bring the reward, is going to be uh, Nathanael. Uh, this is given of the mighty one, of course, he, this reward that was brought, it was given of the mighty one. He's the one that brought forth or come forth from Zuar. Uh, it's small. It's, it's little, but we'll find out it contains a lot. Six, and his host, even those that were numbered thereof, fifty and four thousand and four hundred. And that was the number of it. It was recorded. It was reckoned as, uh, you might say, fifty and four thousand. Fifty is always a number that means divine knowledge, to have the knowledge. Of course, we find out that's grace in the law of five tens. Four thousand, it's the work of God, the work of Hashem in the fulfillments. And four hundred, it's also the work of Hashem in the judgments. Seven, in the tribe of Zebulun, the prince of the children of Zebulun, being Aliab, the son of Helon. And this is going to be the ones of the tribe of Zebulun. They'll be pitched next to him under the same flag. Zebulun is those of the habitation, or those that take up that position, you might say. The prince of the children of Zebulun, or those that are over, or the one that's over, uh, those of Zebulun, is going to be Eliab. Eliab is the mighty one of the father. He's the one that comes forth from Helan. And that's the strong. Eight, and his host, and those that were numbered thereof, fifty and seven thousand and four hundred, and all those that were numbered with him, his army, uh, his host, those that was fit for war and prepared for battle were numbered. And there was 50 and 7,400. 50, once again, my friend, there's divine knowledge in it. If you'd listen, 50, uh, grace in the law. 7, it's going to fulfill and perfect all these things. 400, because once again, my friends, it's the work of Hashem and judgment. 9, and all that were numbered of the camp of Judah, being 100,000. Four score thousand, six thousand, four hundred, according to their host. They shall set forth first. And these are the ones that would come forth first to set up and to pitch. Now, all those that were numbered in that camp of Judah, and that's under the, that flag, under that in, in, uh, in sign, you might say, under that understanding, these appraisings were four score thousand. Of course, it wouldn't be written four score, it would be um, eighty. And wave here, four score is going to be that. Uh, uh, work of God in redemption. It's, of course, that is the greater fulfillment. And 6,000, 6,000, my friend, is the, the work of man in the fulfillments. Work, men shall work these fulfillments. Uh, we'll find out the Lord separates in the law uh, in these fulfillments. And this 400 is the work of judge, is the work of Hashem in judgment once again. Uh, and separating through the law, it's an automatic thing. Uh, when we do the positive, we get the positive. When we do the negative, we're subject to the negative as well. They shall set forth first in the beginning. This is the way it was set forth. Ten on the south side shall be the standard of the camp of Reuben, according to their host, the prince of the children of Reuben, being Elitzer, the son of Shedi Ur. The south side, of course, south is the dry, arid side, the place where we can get a little witness uh, when we're... Um, uh, we get a little representation of these things that uh, have been in the past and understanding. It's this camp of Reuben. Reuben was the one who seen the sun or sees the sun. And according to their host, the one of these, according to their armies, according to the ones, the numbers of them, the prince, this one who was set over these children of Reuben, those that come forth from Reuben, being Eliezer, that's the mighty one of the rock. Uh, the son of Shedir. Shedir is the spreader of light. Eleven and his host and those that were numbered there were forty, six thousand, five hundred forty. My friend, four tens. As the work of Hashem in the law, six thousand work of man fulfilling it. Five hundred is going to be there's grace into judgments. Twelve and those that pitch next unto him shall be the tribe of Shimeon. Prince of the children of Shimeon, being Shilumiel, the son of Zuri Shaddai. And those that pitch next to him are under that same flag. It's going to be Shimeon, those that hear, those that have heard. The prince of them of them are these children, of those that have heard. Shimeon, those being 
Shlemiel, he's the son of Zerushadai. Uh, Shlemiel is the peace of the mighty one, and Zerushadai, he is the rock of the almighty. Uh, those that hear have that peace. Those that hear the law, those that understand it, have the peace. And it, it is the rock of the Almighty. Thirteen, his hosts and those that were numbered of them were fifty and nine thousand three hundred. Fifty, grace in the law, divine knowledge and truth in the fulfillments. Three hundred, we can complete the judgments with it. It has a little strength. Fourteen, in the tribe of God, the prince of the children of God, being Eliasaph, the son of Reuel. And this is the tribe of God. God's the troop. God's the tribe of the troops. The prince of the children of God, or this one that's going to rule over them, being Eliasaf. Eliasaf is the mighty one. Uh, the mighty mighty one of the gatherer. This mightiness of the gatherer. The, he is the one that was born from Reuel, not Deuel. We found in the last chapter the the son of El. Uh, Eliasaf was the son of Deuel. Of course, the Dalit and the Rosh look very much alike, but he was Reuel, and we'll find out. He was the friend of the Mighty One, 15, and his host. Even those that were numbered of them, uh, of course, Deuel means to be made known of the Mighty One, 15, and his host, even those that were numbered of them, 40 and 5,650, and all his host, those his army, those that were gathered with them, or the number of them, 40 and 5,040. That's probation, or there's the work of Hashem separating grace and the fulfillments. Uh, 600, we'll find man's work in the judgments, and there's and 50, the divine knowledge. That is the divine knowledge that no men work in the laws, work in the judgment of Hashem. It's the grace in the law, my friends. 16, all that were numbered of the camp of Reuben, being a hundred thousand fifty and one thousand four hundred and fifty, according to their host, they shall set forth second. They would come second. We can witness the pleasantness of all those that were numbered of that camp of Reuben, those that seen the sun, being a hundred thousand. It's the judgments and fulfillment with the divine knowledge or the grace and the law in the beginning of the fulfillments. This work of Hashem in the judgments and grace and the law or the divine knowledge altogether these things uh, is all comes from the law it was an automatic thing the tent of the meeting with the camp of the levy shall set forward in the midst of the camps as they encamp so shall they set forward every man in his place by their standards and this is the way that the levy of course we find they were not numbered among them the, the Lord commanded that you shall not be numbered among them they would set up this tent of meeting they're by par. They're um, neutral, and they set up their camp within the camps of all the others uh, under their standard, uh, according to exactly the way the Lord spoke. 18. On the west side shall be the standard of the camp of Ephraim, according to their host, the prince of the children of Ephraim, being Elishema, the son of Amehud. Now, on the west side, of course, that's the way towards where the sun's setting. That's the way of towards uh, where darkness comes from. It's going to be that camp of Ephraim, Ephraim being the those of two fruit, the double fruited. And the prince, or the one that's going to rule over over these children of Ephraim, is going to be Elishema. Um, Elishema is the mighty one hears. Uh, the mighty one is heard. He is the one that comes forth from Amihud. Amihud is this nation of splendor, 19, and his host and those that were numbered of them, 40,500. So of them, there's going to be 40,000. We'll find there the probation uh, in the fulfillment. It's the work of the Hashem separating in the law. And 500, of course, there's grace in those judgments. 20, and next unto him shall be the tribe of Manasseh, the prince of the children of Manasseh, being Gamaliel, the son of Pedachzer. And next unto him or close thereby is this tribe of Manasseh, those that forget. And the prince of the ones that rule over those that forget, this is Gamilael. And that's the reward of the mighty one. 
uh, he's the one that come forth from Pedox, or that's the rock of ransom. 21, and his host, and those that were numbered of them, 30 and 2,200, 30, fine, because it was dedicated. It was uh, to witness the law, to make it strong, and to witness the fulfillments. These 200, and we get to witness the judgments too. 22. And the tribe of Benjamin, the prince of the children of Benjamin, being Abidan, the son of Gideoni. And these are going to be those of the tribe of Benjamin, that son of my right hand. And the one that's going to rule over those of the son of my right hand is going to be Abidan, that's the father of judgment. He's the one that come forth from Gideoni. That's the one that's warlike, 23, and his host, and those that were numbered of them, 30 and 5,400. Of course, this is going to be their armies and all those that were numbered among them, 30 and 5,000. 30, my friends, once again, it's dedicated it's to make the witness of the law strong, to add a little strength to it, 5,000. We get grace and the fulfillments of it. 400, we can witness the separations of Hashem through judgments. 24, all that were numbered of the camp of Ephraim, being a hundred thousand and eight thousand and a hundred, according to their host, and they shall set forth third. Third makes it strong, adds a little strength to it. Those that were numbered of the camp of Ephraim, those that have double fruited, those that two fruits, being a hundred, that's the judgments and the fulfillments of all of it together. Eight, there's a new beginning in these fulfillments. Uh, one pays attention. There's a judgment according to their host, uh, according to these that are set forth. 25 on the north side shall be the standard of the camp of Don, according to their host, the prince of the children of Don, being Aki, etc., the son of Amishadahi. And on the north side, of course, that's the way of judgment. North is always stands for judgment. Uh, that's where the dark cold is. We don't want that portion. It's there. They set up the standard, this evidence that makes known the flag of the camp of judgment. Don, according to their host, according to their numbers, and the prince of the children of Don, being Aki Etzer, the son of Amishadahi. Of course, these prince that's going to rule over these children of judgment are the children of the judge. Aki Etzer. Uh, this brother of the strengths, this brother of support, is the one son of, the one that comes forth from, and carries on the shem of Amishadahi, and that's the nation of the Ami, Almighty. 26, and his host, and that were numbered of them, three score, 2,700. Of course, three score completes the redemption, completes the witness of the law. Uh, of course, that's man's work in the law and these 2,000 we get to witness the fulfillments of it through that 700 and it kind of finishes the judgments in a tone of God was done when he gave the law he had completed his work 27 those that pitch next unto him shall be the tribe of Asher he's the prince of the children of Asher being Pagiel the son of Okra those that pitch next to him or draw near or close to him under that flag of judgments Asher Ushers those of progress, step up, step forward, kind of in a simultaneous manner. The one that rules over them, Pagiel. Pagiel is that occurrence, or that which happens, uh, of the mighty one. Oh, this thing that's going to happen, the one that comes forth from Okran, that muddier, the one that muddies, or... Tramples the water, 28, and his host, and those that were numbered of them, 40 and 1,500. Of course, these are those. 40, we get it in that, uh, it's, it's, that is probation, or this work of Hashem and the separations through the law, and beginning of these fulfillments. 500, there's grace in the judgments, then we get to witness these things, my friend. 29, this tribe of Naphtali. Naphtali, um, are those that wrestle, and the prince of the children of, they can't make up their mind, you might say, the prince of those that rule over Naphtali, being Akira, the son of Enon, and those, they're ruled by Akira, he's the brother of adversity, and they wrestle with adversity, because they can't make up their mind, this is the one that comes forth from Enon, Enon is having eyes, they see these things, but they still can't make up their mind, 30, 
and his host, and those that were numbered of them were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. Of course, this was the host of the total number of those that were fit for battle. Fifty and three thousand. Fifty, my friends. There's grace in the law through the divine knowledge. Three thousand. It completes, makes strong the fulfillments. These four hundred. When we get to witness the work of Hashem separating uh, through the judgments. Thirty-one. All that were numbered of the camp of Don. Being a hundred thousand and fifty and seven thousand six hundred, they shall set forth hindermost with their standards. And all that were numbered of the camp of Don, those of judgment, being a hundred thousand. Of course, a hundred thousand is, is the judgments and the fulfillment. And the fifty, of course, that's grace in the law, the divine knowledge that Hashem is merciful. Seven, it finishes the fulfill it finishes it all. It completes it, makes it perfect, these fulfillments. And 600, well, that was the work of man in judgment they, that Hashem gave him was to do the law. They shall set forth the hindermost by their standards, their last. Their last, they get to see it and witness it, and, and um, we'll find out. Set up. 32, these are they that were numbered of the children of Israel by the father's houses. All that were numbered of the camps according to their hosts were 600,000, 3,000, 550. And this is how many of them there was in total, the whole house, excluding the Levites. We'll see. This was the number of them according to the camps. Four camps, three in each camp, 600,000. That's the work of man and the judgment. These fulfillments, God give it to you. You have to do the law. 3,000. It's going to complete the fulfillments and on. Make it strong. This 500 of these grace and the judgments. Grace and the judgments of God. That These judgments are the law. Uh, these mercies are the law. Grace, mercy, and the law. It's the divine knowledge, 33. But the Levites were not numbered among the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. As we'll find out, as written by the prophets, you shall not be numbered among them. We'll find out you shall not be found numbered among them. 34. Thus did the children of Israel, according to all the Lord commanded Moses. And this is what Hashem commanded Moses. And so they pitched by their standards according to their flags, according to who they were. And so they set forward. This is the way it went. This was the order of things. This is how it would occur. According to their families, according to their father's houses, under this, under those flags, as we'll find out as we move forward to Numbers chapter 3, turn and return.